Okay, a couple things. Uh, 8 or 13. I'm going to remember that number for later. So I've remounted uh, new gears for Wade's extruder from uh, Tony Booser. I also have his uh, uh, sideways mount underneath here that adds, I don't know, 5 or 6 millimeters to the height. Um, looks like, though, I need to make... Uh, I don't want to change the, the heater barrel. I really don't want to change the, the size of that. I, I think the longer heater zones are bad. Heat zones, so... Maybe changing the PTFE. If I change the PTFE and make it uh, somewhere between 8 to 13 millimeters longer, I think, first of all, that will cover... Um, I want more of this carriage underneath here to be insulated. I don't like any heat getting there, and this now raises it up so that more of the heater barrel is exposed to... or more of the inside of the carriage exposed to the heater barrel. So, um, I don't want that. I want the PTFE to come down almost to the edge there, uh, which would be about 13 millimeters. Um, but at minimum, I need eight just to clear, like, that bolt right there. Because right now, I couldn't print if I wanted to, because that would, uh, you know, these things would hit hit the object being printed. Um, right now, it's said about 92 millimeters high is how high I can go, and that's just barely not touching that right there. Uh, that's only a problem if I get over this far. I could probably go a little bit higher if I don't go all the way over to 200 millimeters on X. Um, I'm trying to figure out how high up this can be because that was the problem that I had where I couldn't build it. Now it looks like there'd be plenty of space, but again, I'm about to lower that. So that's what I'm trying to figure out. So uh, I need to redo that. Uh, the Some of the tape came off. I think that's the thermistor just floating there. Uh, so I need to retape part of that. Hopefully I don't have to <laughs> rewrap anything. And uh, we'll see. So probably gained a lot of height. Uh, certainly got better uh, gears now. Uh, the previous ones I had stripped. That right there got stripped. Let's see if you can see it. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, it's stripped, destroyed there, and then uh, the big one probably is usable, but it had some little imperfections on some of the gear teeth. Yeah, maybe those two there. Some others. Anyway, switch to the new one. Uh, hopefully that's uh, able to spin well. It looked like it was... Um, I put on another washer. I don't even know if the area that is knurled is, is, is now next to the plastic. It was able to extrude, so I guess it's doing something. I put the right bolts in now with the hex heads on the side, and now I've got nuts on the outside with the springs. So, a lot of progress, just uh, can't print anything until I fix that. Damn it. Oh well. It's getting better.